Hello and welcome to our webcast. I have an expert with me today to talk about glass production for the automotive industry, Heinz Josef Lenartz. Maria, just call me Jupp. Okay, Jupp. You work in the glass and solar business at Siemens and are responsible for consulting topics relating to digitalization, project and customer development. What challenges does the automotive sector face today with regards to glass production? You know, whether a car is equipped with an internal combustion engine or alternative drives, it has to meet the strictest design requirements. This also applies to the various glass sheets, panels or other glass parts that are installed. Many people know how varied and innovative the use of automotive window sheets can be. It is always about vehicle glass elements that have been refined uh, into functional glass thanks complex coating processes. The result of such a refinement are, for example, anti-reflective glasses, sun and heat protection glasses, electrically uh, conductive glasses and even self-cleaning paints. But also consider the curved shapes of a modern vehicle. Each glass window must be delivered with a special bending radius and the slices are getting thinner and thinner, but have to withstand the same noise levels. In addition, visualization in the car is increasingly being replaced by display panels. Hmm. Indeed, car glass is not just a pain these days. There is a lot more than that. We are talking about the elaborate glass finishing. The customer requirements for different shapes and qualities grow together with the constant further development of new car models. As a glass refiner, you have to react flexibly and quickly to this, haven't you? That's right. Automotive manufacturers work according to the just-in-time and sequence principle. Accordingly, glass finishers have to deliver a certain batch quickly and on time. If you think a step further, the glass manufacturer itself is also involved in this value chain, including the procurement, distribution and sales logistics. That is why it's important for the processor to receive all information about the delivered glass promptly. And how can Siemens help to meet these challenges? Our automation technology is used in innovative glass production lines and the process technology is further developed in partnership with the producer. Since the time factor is crucial in the automotive industry, holistic digitized processes play a major role in manufacturing and processing of glass sheets. Virtual processes that interact with real production are a great lever when it comes to speed. And what virtual processes are you exactly talking about here? A car window can be simulated on a computer during the product development process. And then appropriate forms of production can be derived with just a few clicks. The means and steps of production are automatically developed virtually this way. Exactly, these virtual models are so-called digital twins. But when we use this term digital twin, at this point, you need to be aware that there is no real counterpart at this stage in time. Production has not yet started in real. Hmm. Very interesting. Everybody talks about digital twin nowadays, especially in the current time of digitalization. But how can such a virtual model, for example, over a certain process step, be transferred into the real production? And what are the advantages of it? First of all, there's virtual development, testing and planning. Every automobile manufacturer has different requirements. When at some point the automotive manufacturer finally places the order, the relevant supplier already has an advantage thanks to virtual product development and data management. Then the data feed into further process can be used in such a way that the production line 
can be put into virtual operation in advance. Here we talk about the virtual commissioning. Simulation proves to be a great advantage because it speeds up the actual startup of production considerably. The same applies if the respective wafer finisher optimizes its process in this way. Does it mean that the above mentioned challenges of the glass production, high quality, flexibility and efficiency can be met by digital twins, it is virtual commissioning? Not only. This shall of course be done with appropriate glass know-how. Digital solutions in combination with our expertise make a great contribution to higher quality, greater flexibility and efficiency of the glass production. Let me make an example. Through a data analysis, we can filter out the most important parameters that are responsible for quality, flexibility and efficiency. This is exactly where we start with networking. Our aim is to enable all actors in the supply chain to work with data, but only the holistic view of the value chain brings actual added value. It is ideal if there is a uniform database and the necessary information is transferred to the interfaces. That is, that this is not only a one-way street becomes clear soon as the production plant is in operation. Possible product changes can first be simulated virtually and then implemented in reality. Does that mean that it requires a uniform, consistent database along the entire value chain? Exactly. That would be perfect. In this case, we call it digital enterprise, which describes such a combined value chain. The basis is connectivity and automation. A customer-specific digitalization is based on this. I'm talking about virtual data exchange from the field to possibly the cloud. For example, quality data from production can be stored in an industrial Internet of Things system like MindSphere and retrieved by the person processing the glass. This not only saves time, but also makes it easier to achieve all the relevant key performance indicators, whether they are quality parameters, productivity and efficiency targets, or the use of resources. If you know what you want to achieve, your automation and digitalization, and therefore your optimization, can be targeted unbelievably precisely. An exciting topic, and thank you very much, Joop. Thank you, dear audience, for your attention.